I've never driven a high revving V8 Audi before. All right, so I kind of need one of these. Yeah, this is kind of cool, <laughs> right? All right, so we're literally back where we left off. So we're here at Audi Tradition. This is like the secret museum. Last episode, we started with the rally cars. We did all of rally. Groupie ends around this car. <laughs> Group S never happens at this car. <laughs> this was Group A, which was the more mild version of Group B. And then you guys went to go decide that we were gonna race somewhere else and you go to race in America. <laughs> Where, else? <laughs> Where else? Where else but America? Because they were trying to do something different and enter the Trans Am car. They have all these cars with big V8s in them, and Audi comes in with all wheel drive, a straight five cylinder with a turbo. Complete fish out of water compared to what everybody else was doing, and just started smoking everybody with it. The Trans Am is still based on a metal chassis. IMSA GTO is more a prototype kind of racing series. Brake technology back then wasn't what it is today. So these were put on the car to keep the brakes cool throughout a long race. Just one of my favorite pieces of motorsport technology from the 80s. You have a bag dedicated to turbo fans. Is this check-in only or is that carry-on? Oh, uh, it's about to be carry-on for you. <laughs> I think we need a couple yeah. of these. All right, well, let's move on down the row. So first Audi V8 and first DTM car. This is the car from 90 and we used to run the V8, 91 and 92 in DTM. I love this car. It's understated, but like just so good. I mean, I like the, you know, the cage, it's super high here. There's still wood in the interior, full uh, interior panels on the door and the full dash. Gosh. Well, this is the car that never raced, right? Correct. Class one touring car, V6 aspirated, but never came into use. Just a couple of test runs. It's such a good looking car. I was gonna say, what a shame. Everything on here is nice. I mean, look at the plumbing through the car. It's like rally car spec, but like done very, very nicely. That's that classic. Wow. Upturn. The classic DTM. Yes. So this is one of the most winningest cars, right? Yeah, it was very successful, four-cylinder aspirated, but with a four-wheel drive in the beginning. This car inspired such a look during that era yeah, too. And then there's that. So we skip a few years here and then just get to madness. If you compare the DTM V8 with the modern DTM cars in terms of technology, chassis, bodywork. No, it looks like a spaceship inside. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is a spaceship. I mean, look at that tube. Here's the B pillar. Seat way back there. I mean, that's really why DTM is definitely one of my favorite series, just literally on the car design, because it's production-based styling of cars, but it's an F1 car basically underneath. It's just form and function. If it works, bolt it on and make the performance better, you right. know? Ron, look down here. I mean, look, you can look down through the arrow in oh, the fender boy. flare. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. All right, and there's a lot of this stuff in this room, but um, which of these do we get to drive? I mean, I'm like most interested in the all-wheel drive ones. I see where you're walking back towards. <laughs> so. I just started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So this one, Timo? Can you drive this one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Oh, that's a delay. That, there's a hesitation <laughs> there. You can drive this one. Get in it before he changes his mind. I've never driven a high revving V8 Audi before. I'm such a fan of DTM, and this is the beginning yeah. of Audi in DTM. Right, so if I could drive this one now, I would definitely be happy about that. Yeah, I think so. We, we drove the other stuff yesterday, yeah, so yeah. Let's, let's have a look for this one today. Once again, Audi's letting us take cars out of the museum, museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to go play. We did it I, one day and they invited us back to do it another. Yes. <laughs> High hey. revving V8. Hey. <laughs> All right, so we're back here at the airbase. It's another day of driving history. <laughs> the first Audi V8 and first DTM car. So it's a V8, and what did it rev to? 11 and a half. 11 wow. and a half. That's like Formula One. What RPMs. does he get to rev to today? 11. 
It goes to 11. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> you know what we do? Put it up to 11. 11, exactly. 11-ish. 11-ish. Which for him starts at 6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you said 7. <laughs> I mean, there's no sense in actually opening the door because it's You can just the go same through thing. the window. Yeah. yeah, it is the same thing. <laughs> I feel like you could do that more gingerly. You could take, you could take the wheel off. Hold on. Yeah. Not easy. Oh, you got plenty of room in there. <laughs> Timo, I think I'd fit in this. I'm just, I'm just saying, you should size me up for next time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, trunk, a trunk, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I think so, it supplies. I think we can bring think, back Lucky Bastard. I think we can bring back Lucky Bastard. to 11. I take my arm off on that one. It's very nice and responsive. I just like the way it wraps too. I only want a little over 7,000 RPM. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I kind of need one of these. Yeah, this is kind of cool, right? <laughs> no, that was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who thought you'd come here and a DTM car would, would uh, be more exciting? Just because... Oh. Have you ever driven in a DTM car? No! I have no, not either! No, so but you're is, a rally car driver. This is cool. I've always loved DTM cars, even though this isn't like yeah, the sure. sort of bolt-on everything yeah. style DTM yeah, yeah, yeah. car, yeah. but it was still cool as hell to get in one and drive one. All right, now we get to go uh, drive another car at Audi Sport because it's not too loud. So we are here at Neuburg which is Audi Sports test facility. It's like yeah. a proving ground. Yeah. Now you're gonna drive this, which is like a full-blown prototype race car, the Vision GT. This was actually designed for the Gran Turismo game. And so this is one of those ideas and digital became a real life reality. So we have 815 horsepower, uh, 990 Newton meters. Motor in front and back? One in front and two in back. Two in back? Yeah. Oversteer. Yeah, 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 yeah like that. <laughs> He told us he can't drift it. We can try it though, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Who was that? Is? It's a trippy experience for you to drive is for us to watch. <laughs> uh, this is fun. I mean, it's instant torque. Yeah, instant. But it's really deceptive because you have nothing to like judge how fast you're going. It just goes. But then I didn't know how hard to push it. I spun once, but I think part of that's just the cold tires. Yeah. You know, I've driven the Extreme E and the Project E car, and the way that the weight balances, it, it puts pressure on the tires in completely different ways yeah. than I'm used to. The, so the roll center is quite low. It makes it for a really unique driving experience, but you got to calibrate your brain to like, well, crap, you come down and you expect a bit of movement, and it just like goes. And if it doesn't go because you got too much speed, it doesn't go. It just keeps going that way. <laughs> it was fun though. Very cool experience. Thank you, Addy. All right, so Ken, that's it. Trip has come to an end. You've gotten to drive some rather amazing stuff. I think I said everything you need to say. <laughs> Dream come true type stuff. To be able to come here, have this complete immersion with Audi, be able to drive some incredible equipment from old classic rally cars to completely modern and insane machinery. It's been incredible. Dream come true. And next time we come here, we may be able to actually tell you guys what Audi's been cooking up for Ken. Yep. So that should be exciting. So that's a wrap? That's a wrap. It's a wrap!